Tired of the everyday grind? Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. You are in a wild and dangerous country, riding to stake your claim, while the man who follows you, without conscience or fear, is waiting for the moment when he will stop you with a bullet in the heart. Listen now, as transcribed, Escape brings you William J. Radcliffe's exciting story, The Notebook. Trouble started about a week ago, after we broke camp and headed for the little town of Deadwood. Uh, uh, you see way over there, Robbie? Uh, over there, way over there, them's old volcanoes. Engines around here say their folks are spirits live there. Well, about 20 miles or so that way is the trading post. Hey, maybe we can file our claim there. No, have to make dead wood for that. Uh. Hey, hold up, Robbie. What's wrong? Oh, what do we do? I don't know. Stand steady, I guess. When I say it, head for them rocks and move fast. And we better wait. Uh -uh. I'll scatter. <laughs> you all right, Mac? Uh, yeah. Tore my dog on pants. Uh, the same guy, ain't it? Yeah, same guy. Whiskers and all. Uh, I sure like to give him a shave. Uh, from ear to ear. Uh, let's see about getting our rifles. Yeah. Jenny! Whoa, girl! Here! Come here, girl! Whoa, Jenny! Come back here, you fool! Come back hey, Mac, here! Mac, get down! Get down, he'll oh, see you! Uh, ornery critter, ain't you? You're almost as bad as some people I've known. If we get across to that ravine, we can back trail out of here. Yeah. All right, get going. No, wait. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Throw your hat the other way and draw his fire. Good idea. Uh, come on, let's go! <laughs> Well, watch them rocks. I'm uh, watching. I'm watching. Keep moving. Yeah. This way over here. I'm coming. Uh, uh, head into them uh, woods. I see the burrow. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa up there, you uh, carnation fool. Whoa. Easy, Jenny, now. Easy. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Uh, I got the rifle, Mac. Good. Yeah. Now. Let's get that bushwhack and pole cat. Oh, wait. Now, look. Yeah. He's lighting out. Yeah. He's tried it twice now. Reckon he'll try again? Yeah, he wants that gold pretty bad. Well, so do I. Uh, would you kill for it, Robbie? It's an awful lot of gold, Mac. Would you kill for it? I don't know. Maybe. I can't say. We made a dry camp that night and cooked early so we could douse the fire before dark. We took turns watching and sleeping, but nothing happened. 
Next afternoon late, we got to Deadwood, a dirty town of mud shacks and old cabins. Half-naked Indian kids kicked the dry dust round us, begging for smokes. The half-breeds and whites just stared at us. <laughs> Some town, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a wild one, all right. Uh, beats me how they make a living. Oh, sheep mostly. Yeah. I trade with the Indians. Robbie. Uh, you see that, that there tree? Yeah. You know, I see the fuller get hanged there once. Oh? Yep. Hauled him up like a sack of wheat. Choked him dead. Ugh, terrible. I'll never forget it. What'd he do? Kill somebody? No. A bunch of guys just got drunk and wanted a hanging. He just happened to be there. Well, let's go across to that saloon, Robbie. <laughs> I got me a thirst. Oh, I guess we can afford one. Only one? Bottle, I mean. Oh, yes, sir, Robbie. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> What'll it be, gents? A bottle of whiskey. I'll stick to beer. Okay. Oh, Robbie, I still think you ought to... Uh oh, Robbie. What? That third guy. Huh? Into the bar. Oh, it's him. It sure is. Fella. Huh? huh? I've been looking for you. What? What? Oh, God! Friend. Oh, two of you. Okay, come on. All right, now get up. Pick him up. And both of you get out of here. Uh, put the gun away. We'll see who gets out of here. Do like I tell you. All yourself and that other bum out of here. Uh, you all right, Robbie? Yeah. Yeah, but who's he? I don't know, but he sure crocked you one. Yeah. You the law? I own the joint. Any fighting to be done, and I'll do it. Yeah, that guy, that guy with a whisker, he bushwhacked us. Yeah, twice. You're lying. He works for me. Oh, come on, Robbie. Hey, just a minute. Yeah? If Jonesy did pot shot you, and I ain't saying he did or didn't, how come? How come? Yeah, why? Oh, figuring to jump our claim, I reckon. Claim? Mac, uh, Come on. All right, a couple of you guys hold Jonesy into the back room. Ah, there's another bar on down the way. There always is. Hey, Robbie, you hurt any? Ah, jaws sore. <laughs> so is whiskers, I reckon. You socked him pretty good. Mm. <laughs> What's so funny? You know, Robbie, what? I didn't pay for them drinks. <laughs> what are you laughing at? We didn't get to drink them. Robbie, you still mad at me? Nope. Nah, uh, I shouldn't have talked about our gold claim back in Deadwood. Mac, for two days now, you've been doing nothing but talk about it. Now, forget it. It'd have been all right if we'd found an office there to stake our claim. How far we come? Oh, about... 30 miles, I reckon. We'll get back to the Gallo by nightfall, make Silvertown tomorrow, maybe. Oh, 
Hold up a minute, Robbie. Well, you're tired? Oh, no. Listen. Well? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just listening. Did you hear that owl? Yeah. Remember hearing it a ways back? Well, yeah, I guess so. What's wrong with the owl hooting? Well, generally, wild animals only squawk when something bothers them. I don't know. It's kind of peculiar. Let's keep moving. All right. Come on, Jenny. See what I mean? Yeah. You're sure big for crows. Sure are. <laughs> Ever eat a crow stew? Crow stew? Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Especially when you're gosh darn hungry. Hey, Robbie, see them, them tracks? Yeah. Been noticing them. Yeah, they look like dog tracks. Sort of. It's a wolf pack. Track's about a day old. Oh, lots of them around here. Oh, they're mean devils. Uh-oh. Let's get back into them rocks. What for? Come on. <laughs> now steady down, Robbie. Here. Whoa, Jenny. Whoa. Easy. Hold that critter, Robbie. Hold it. Are we in trouble again? And crows we flushed back there went back to eating again. Oh, so? So? Sit tight and listen. Hey, Mac, he, he flew away. He sure did. Robbie, we're being followed. I hope it's whiskers. Get the rifles. Yeah, I will. Here. Yeah. <gasps> Look. You see him? No. There. Where? That clump of pines. Oh. It's whiskers, all right. There's two of them. Yep. Him and the big guy that runs the saloon. You know, the guy that clobbered you. Yeah, he... Yeah, that's him all right. Remember, Mac, you asked me if I could kill for gold? Huh? Well, maybe I can give you an answer now. We will return to escape in just a moment, but first, wood for your home, water in the faucet, the newspaper on the front porch every day. Behind all of these taken-for-granted items of everyday life are America's forests. Whenever a forest burns, those things are being destroyed, and we ourselves are destroying them, because nine-tenths of all forest fires are man-made. Let's stop this needless destruction and be careful of fire in forest areas. And now, back to Escape. We'd come 30 miles from Deadwood. And I kept thinking, if we'd been able to stake our claim there, we wouldn't be waiting behind rocks, waiting for the two guys who made shadows in the clump of pines as they came riding through on their horses. You're a pretty good shot, ain't you, Robbie? I can handle it. Uh, I'll just be nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll cover them first and... And see what they're up to. <laughs> Your gold, Mac. That's what they want. I reckon. 
It's funny about gold, Robbie. A body near kills himself for grubbing and a sweating for it. And then starts killing others just to keep it. Yeah. But it's a pile of gold, Mac. I'll cover Whiskers. You take the big guy. Yeah. I'm gonna work that boy over real good. Cabot, just wait till they get around that boulder. Stand right still, you guys. Now what's the idea? What are you following us for? Open country, isn't it? Now get off them horses, the both of you. Robbie, go get their guns. Right. Look out, Robbie. Oh. Mac. 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 Watch yourself, Robbie. Watch. Mac. Mac, easy now. Easy, Mac. Where'd he get you? Oh. Chest hurts. Oh, Mac. Gotta think what we do. Oh, take it easy, Mac. Take it easy here. Let's see now what it looks oh. like. It, it pretty bad. Huh? I'll see now. Oh, man, I gotta stop the blood. Oh, oh Jenny, Jenny, come back! Jenny, come back here! Ah. You, you all right, Robbie? Yeah, yeah. My burrow get away? Yeah. Here. Give me my rifle, Robbie. Now, Mac, just lay still. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Mac. I'm going over behind those rocks and talk back to that guy. Now, don't you move. Don't take a chance. What are you doing? Mac, get down! Mac, you crazy fool, get down! Mac! Mac! Did I, did I get him, Robbie? Yeah, you, you got whiskers. But easy now, easy, Mac. You're, you're bleeding hard. It hurts, man. Well, wait a minute. Here, here's some water for you. No, 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 no. Easy, Mac. Come on now. Drink it. That's it. Yeah, uh, fella, ought to have real drink. Time like this. <laughs> hey, the big guy's tailing out, Mac. Uh, oh, Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, I'm here, Mac. You, you know where we are. Sure. Yeah. I know. You can, Get home, all right. Yeah. We'll get home. It's wild here. Stay with the river. Only water. Oh, no, Mac. You're gonna be all right, Mac. You hear? Mac. Mac. buried Mac on the bluff there and piled heavy stones on his grave. I stood there for a long time after I'd said the prayer. After a while, I left him and hunted for the burrow. Late afternoon, when I found her back up the trail, I found what was left of her after the wolf pack pulled her down. I went back to the river and made camp for the night. And that's where he found me. Stand right still, mister. Huh? What? Just don't move. You. Yeah, it's me. Get over there. 
Where's your rifle? Here. On the blanket. Oh. I'm hungry. Where's your grub? Oh, it's in the canvas there. Never mind. I'll help myself. You better go easy. It's all there is. Shut up. Oh, well, that food's got to last till we get back. You ain't getting back. Where's the gold? There is no gold. Don't give me that. I said, where is it? I ain't fooling. Now get up! Now where is it? Ain't gold. Ain't no gold. The time I get through with you, you'll be digging it for me. I said, where is it? I got lots of time, fella. You just lay there and think about it. Where you got the coffee? Well? I... I, I told you. There's... There's no gold... That ain't what I ask you. Where's the Go coffee? Oh, coffee? <clears throat> yeah, in the sack. No. Now you just make it easy on yourself, fella. Mm. You tell me where your strike is. That's all there is to it. Might even cut you in. Well? Answer me. I, I can't. Look, tell me where it is and I'll let you in for half of it, huh? I... 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 Tell me! Uh, Are you gonna tell me? What? What's bothering them? Hey, that's wolves! Hey, that's wolves! That's wolves! The screams of the horse made my blood run cold. A big guy went nuts, I guess. All of a sudden, he started yelling crazy things and running. I heard him pound along the river bed and splash into the water, and then he was gone. I piled sagebrush and wood on the fire and stood in its light and tried not to hear the agonized sounds of the horses. The wolves got him. And they left sometime in the night but the morning was long coming. Then I saw what was left of the horse and took sick to my stomach. I got what gear there was and rolled it in a pack. I had three shells left for the rifle. I followed the river down through the gorge. I guess I'd gone, oh, about a mile. And there he was. Drop your rifle! Drop it! Now come here! Up here, you fool! Hurry up! Well? Yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> you heard, huh? Draw me your canteen. Mm -hmm. Water! I want water, you fool! This is empty! I know it. I told you I want water! I've been following this stream. There's no use carrying water. You want some? I'll get it for you. No! Don't move! Are you hurt? It's my leg. It's broke. You want me to look at it? You see this rifle? I see it. You try something, you're dead. Let's see the leg. No! Get away from me! You hear me? Now listen, listen to me. 
You want me to help you, then put down that rifle. How stupid you think I am? Plenty stupid. Shut up! Now do like I tell you. Cut them two saplings off there. Make an engine litter out of that blanket. Oh, fella, I can't drag you that far. I'm going to kill you. Oh? Then what? <laughs> Miles nowhere. Alone, can't walk. That wolf pack's still around. I reckon there's been enough killing. What's your name? Morris. Jack Morris. Let me see your leg. Yeah. Hey, I'll look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bad one. It's real bad. Uh, uh, hold, hold me up. Uh, he passed out then, and I tried to set his leg. It was all swelled up and bloody. I did the best I could and then hauled him up the hill to his cave. That was four days ago. I kept the fire going, made him easy as I could, and I put these words down in my notebook. Last night, the wolf pack found us. I built up the fire at the front of the cave, and they stayed back, howling. They're still there this morning, seven of them. But I can't kill any more. Got no shells left. Morris died a few minutes ago. There's no more wood. The fire's low. It'll be gone soon. Transcribed under the direction of Anthony Ellis, Escape has brought you The Notebook by William J. Radcliffe, starring John Daner as Robbie, Joseph Kearns as Mac, and William Conrad as Jack Morris. The special music for Escape is composed and directed by Leith Stevens. Next week... You are alone in a giant forest, seeking a way of escape, while around you, gaining with your every step, the relentless enemy, which is fire, is closing in from every side. Until there will be only one way out, and that way is death. So listen next week when Escape brings you Anthony Ellis's exciting story, The Red Forest. <laughs> Tomorrow night and most of these same CBS radio stations listen for another dramatic hit from Screenland on the Lux Summer Theater. Every Monday night, CBS radio invites you to enjoy your favorite Hollywood stars in arresting comedies, dramas, and mysteries. Full hour productions throughout the warm weather months on the Lux Summer Theater. This is Roy Rowan speaking. <laughs>